got to go feed the cows. I'll be back in a little bit later. Adios. Morning, folks. Jerry Tendall here, Tendall's Horse and Mule School. I'm here to offer a nice little gray mule that's going to be coming up for sale at the Reef Brothers Sale, March the 9th, Westmoreland, Tennessee. Come by and visit. We're going to have a little clinic there. We'll be talking about some stuff like this. We're going to talk a little bit today about you guys dragging this tire. So let me take you through the steps. I want to have a nice soft feel in my animals that I ride. I don't want this to be hurried. It takes a lot of softness in the face, a lot of body control from your leg. So what I would have you do would be come up and just kind of side fast, get maneuvered a little bit. Come up here like this and just stop and pause. You're working your mule quietly from your leg. So be careful anytime you're doing something, you know where your hands are and what's happening. So if I, I pet my mule, I reach down and I grab the rope and I pick it up. Now remember, this is going to be attached to something, so don't attach it to your body. When you first start, don't wrap the horn and hope it's going to work out. It could get pretty western. I know where my rein length is, I know where my mule is. I'm going to take and coil my rope up, and I'm going to be quiet and thoughtful. Once I get the slack, I'm going to move the mule's hindquarters a little bit to her left, like that, back her up. I want her to see that tire from a distance. I'm going to feed rope. I'm going to take my time, back her up, feed rope. Now this is a pretty safe way. This is the first place where you'll drag the tire by hand. Make sure they're okay with it. Make sure your slack doesn't hit the ground. You don't want your rope on the ground. When I back up, I'll feed a little bit of slack. Pause here, bring the front quarters back. She didn't quite back up. There, and back her up. And let her see that tire as we drag it with our hand, like this. Then from there, I back up a little more. As I move my mule over, I'm gonna feed rope. Now I'm just gonna walk a circle. As I walk this circle, I want to just kind of take my time. I'm going to move the hindquarters a bit, have her look at the tire. At this point, I'll take a wrap on my horn. I'll let her back up, make sure she's good with that tugging, and then move the front quarters over, keeping track of my tire. Walk on, nice and polite. Have her stop. As I'm stopping, I'm going to roll the hindquarters over to her left right leg here let her kind of think like that let her face up move the front quarters take my wraps off and i'm good to go